Welcome back YouTube to another great Lightworks video. This time we're going to be making a short video and we're going to be learning how to make a good outro in your video. In the previous video we learned how to make cinematics for the beginning of videos. This time we're going to make a good outro f for videos, especially gaming videos. Videos with outros have a better chance of retaining viewers because the viewers can see and click on the scaled videos while they are still playing, therefore the viewer is still on your channel. I have made this simple outro video so let's play it. As you can see, the outro contains two smaller videos on either side of each other and a message at the bottom that says subscribe now or give us a like. These simple but effective steps also tell the viewers that the video is of top quality rather than below average quality. But enough talk, let's get started. Firstly, however, before we start with the outro, a video may be captured on a computer with an irregular dimension, such as widescreen or anything along those lines. In this case, Lightworks only likes videos with proper dimensions, such as 240p, 480p, 720p, or 1080p. If you have an irregular video, it tends to have black bars along the sides, top and bottom. As you can see in this video, it has black bars because it doesn't fit the proper dimensions. To remove those black bars, we must add DVE to it. So what we need to do is add DVE. It's not 3D DVE, it's DVE. Once you have added 3D DVE to the video under scale, under scale, adjust the values to suit your needs. So we're just going to adjust this so it widens, the X value widens, the Y values uh, makes it taller, and the master just zooms in. So what we need to do is make it so that it's even, so it fits on the screen perfectly. If you're having difficulty with um, trying to figure out the values, you can scroll, use the scroll on your mouse to adjust the values if you want. It's a really effective way instead of trying to figure out which number your video fits in with the black bars, but as you can see I've adjusted it and now the entire video fits with the with the entire screen so then when you export it it doesn't have black bars along the sides the top or bottom which is really good also another great reason why the DVE tool is amazing is because that it zooms in to small things in the video that the viewers can't see so for example if you want to zoom in to that mini map on the top bottom left you simply just use the master key or the use the X or Y values under scale to zoom in and use your position to move around and adjust it so you can see the mini map as you can see you can clearly see it up close now now that's that back to the outro what you need to do after you have adjusted the scales to fit in with, if you do have an irregular video to fit in with the screen what you need to do is create a new video bar so uh, top right click on the gear icon click on add tracks and create one video bar so we've created one video bar so next is to import a, another video which I have done here. So import whatever video you want. So import another video you want in this split screen and drag it onto the timeline. Actually, you don't need the audio for. So drag it onto the timeline. 
once you have two videos, as you can see, I have two videos, um, one in V1 and one V2, your next step is to right click on the video bar with V1 or the top, very top video and click on add DVE and split screen with plus BG. BG stands for background. So you're going to click on that. So once you have imported the videos, you're going to add DVE as uh, as I already said. And now as you can see right right picture, left picture. So you're going to adjust the Y value to 0 0.75 to move the video up and the left picture as well 0 0.75 to move it up. Now you can adjust both of the videos if you want as in the scale if you want to scale one up or minimize one even further but it's up to you. Uh, right now though the final step is to add text. So you, if I'm just going to do that so you go under add titles titles and add text so we could just say subscribe now and like and position so you're going to move the position if you want after you have adjusted the text minimize that and go down all the way down to background now it should be below left picture so as you can see background you can change the background the gradient to two two colors you want so you can, you can choose to, for example let's give it a bluish color with uh, actually I'll use this one greenish color as you can see you can use the pen to match whatever you want on the lightworks video if you like a color on the lightworks or if you have a color outside you could do that as well one more thing you can also change the type so bottom to left left to right top to bottom or radial Re pretty much I like radio the best because it radiates out from the center and it goes out to the edges but that's all for now guys I hope you do enjoy this video give us a like share with your friends next video I'll be doing something else thanks guys for watching see you soon